your voice, your station. So, you want to hear school students talk about their travel experiences, learnings, escapades, episodes, knowledge, incidents from all the corners of the globe? Terra Talk, platform from where young voices reach out to the world. Brought to you by Ed Terra Adventures. Hi, I'm Rajya from Jeshi Periwal International School, Jaipur, and I'll be conducting the interview. Hi, my name is Samaira Bajaj. Hi, my name is Samad Khurana. Greetings, I'm Dhruv Sada. Hi, I'm Avika Sidhani. Terra Talk, platform from where young voices reach out to the world. Hello everyone. So we've divided four separate days to four different people. Now starting with Samaira, she will tell us her experience at Birla Mandir, Anjia Garden and Hussain Sagar Lake. The first day here was a lot of fun. We settled into our rooms and visited the Birla Mandir. It was on a hill and followed a route to the top. There were carvings on the walls of mythological figures and the view showed a picture of the entire city. We went to the Anjia Garden and enjoyed some rides. Another highlight of the day was our visit to Hussain Sagar, witnessing a light and sound show based on the history of Hyderabad. Some sprinklers and waterworks made the experience better along with the song at the end. Thank you, Samaira. Moving on to Samarth for day two at Wanderla Park and Golconda Fort. On day two, we visited Wanderla, an amusement park. We rode many rides such as water slides. We also took part in an interesting magic show. After we left Wanderla, we visited the Golconda Fort. A guide helped us throughout the fort. He told us that the fort took 62 years to be built and occupies three square kilometers. It was built by the Qutub Shahis. The Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb conquered it in 1687 and was left in ruins after the siege. Very interesting. Thank you so much. Next for day three, we have Dhruv, his experience at Ramoji Film City. As we continued to explore Hyderabad, we went to Ramoji Film City. As we reached Ramoji, we proceeded on an open top bus to travel around 40 kilometers of land. Once we reached the mini-sized city, we went to the Wild West show, which consisted of various stunts. After several many shows, we went on a bus tour where we saw many era, learned how to make films, learned the advanced technology behind augmented reality, and how fictional movies are made, and more. Furthermore, we experienced the breakdance ride and went back to the hotel to have a dance party where we all danced with enthusiasm and energy. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. For the last day, we have Avika for her experience at Charminar. On our last day, we woke up early in the morning and headed to Charminar. When we reached Charminar, we had a guide who guided us throughout the beautiful monument and imparted its rich history to us. We learned a lot about the Muslim and Hindu leaders who contributed to the building of Charminar and it was very interesting. Even though visiting the monument was very enjoyable, it reminded me of how the trip was going to end soon and it made me a bit emotional. Finally, we ate lunch and checked out of the hotel visiting our last place, which was the mall. Overall, I'm really going to miss the trip and it was indeed incredible. Thank you to all of you. What we gathered at last is Hyderabad is a place with a very vivid culture. It has many monuments and engaging activities, allowing people to understand the city well. It is a must visit. At last but not the least, we would like to thank our teachers and our school for providing us with the opportunity for coming to Hyderabad. Thank you. Like what you're listening? Stay tuned for a new podcast on classroomworld.com. Terra Talk, the number one station.